welcome back to the channel so today's video is actually going to be like a yarn vlog haul type thing i'm going to get some yarn from hobby lobby this morning or by the week time we get there afternoon um i have some projects in mind and stuff i need to get most importantly stuffing that's the big thing because i have here my basket of amigurumi stuff um i have a little challenge for myself this year to make at least 12 of the toys in this book i had a plan you know one a month um and that's actually not gonna happen <laughs> Not, not the whole year, but I'm not going to get the one I have done for this month. Um, if you follow my podcast, I am making Nessie. And this is her head. I'm actually out of the yarn for this. And I don't know if Hobby Lobby still sells the yarn. It's um, a yarn bee multi. And like, I've looked on their website. The closest they have is like a black and gray multi. But this is, I would say, a blue multi. So I don't know, maybe I'll find it in the store, maybe not. I, I do have, like, I can easily substitute white um, or black for the other stuff of Nessie. I think I finished the body. This is the body. And all that to say, this is, I, I won't get this done this month. It's already, I think, January 30th. or the, I don't think it's the 31st yet. I have no idea of the date. But I won't get this done. All that tangent to say, I also can't get it done because I don't have stuffing. Are I don't have enough stuffing because these toys I'm not making them according to the gauge in the pattern I'm using worsted so they are bigger use it more stuffing all that to say that's my excuse for going because I'm not out of yarn obviously I have a lot of yarn but I do have some gaps in my stash for projects I want to do so the biggest thing on the list is like I said the stuffing maybe I'll find the rest another skein of this yarn I'm not hoping it hoping i will i don't think i'm going to but i need to get the stuffing i need i don't need i want i really want to get yarn for a crochet sweater i'm thinking dk i have not made successfully a crochet sweater yeah in at least the past six months i don't think i've made a success no that's not true my i did make a cardigan a successful successfully a crochet cardigan but I really want to make a crochet pullover, so I'm kind of going to be picking out yarn for that. And I kind of also want to make a shawl, a knitted shawl, which I haven't wanted to make a knitted shawl in so long. So, yeah. That's just my rambling of the things I have to make. I do have a list on my phone here. I'm filming on my phone that of things I need to get or want to have in my stash. Because I don't get to go yarn shopping all that often, so it's good to build up a stash. I learned that lesson the hard way. <laughs> um yeah i don't know it's it's always i have a problem where i i prefer so much shopping in stores for yarn or just really i'm not a shopping person i truly can't shop and shopping online just really overwhelms me because like it's such a luxury to have to be able to shop online i'm i don't say that in like a oh, i can't shop online type thing but I'm such a luxury shop online, but I get so overwhelmed because <laughs> I, I I really need to just look at it and visualize it and hold hold the yarn in my hands. But also, when I get in the stores, I tend to also forget every little thing that entered my brain before I went to the store. So who knows what I'm gonna come home with? Hopefully, I'll come home with the stuffing um, yarn for a sweater. That's what I'm hoping. Those are the two big things. But who knows? I might make a couple of impulse purchases because that's what i do that's how i go <laughs> all right so i'll see you at the store i just wanted to show like this is a project i started yesterday actually when we went out briefly for a car ride um i get cast on a dk weight sock to have some vanilla knitting and i was wondering i, I always find it interesting the amount of knitters i hear who say they don't bring their knitting everywhere or they, like they don't knit like while they're in the car or something. That's always so fascinating to me. I don't know, because I just can't imagine not bringing it with me. So I was wondering if you could comment down below and do you bring your crafting, your knitting, your crocheting, anything, do you bring it with you wherever you go just in case you can do a few stitches or just because you like to have it with you? I used to do that with books too. I would just bring a book even if though I wouldn't get a chance to read any of it. But I can always knit even when I'm talking or listening to someone else talk. I, I don't drive, I should mention that, you know, I'm not the one driving, but do you bring your knitting with you everywhere? Your crocheting? Whatever? Do you? Let me know. 
I really love how the sock is like pulling up. This is um, Baby Sweet Delight in the charming colorway. So very festive. Reminds me of Easter. I have no idea when Easter is this year, but very pretty. So if you could comment down below, do you bring a project with you everywhere? I realized as I was in the checkout, I did not get the sweater quantity I planned on getting. I forgot until the very last second, and then I wasn't turning around to go back and get it. it, it, it I knew I would forget something. Um, and that was a big thing I wanted. That was like one of my main reasons for going, but that's okay. I'm not even sure what sweater I definitely want to make, but yeah. That's just what happens. <laughs> so, oh well, I got the stuffing. That was the really big thing. And I actually did find the other skein for my project, for my crochet amigurumi, which surprised me because I didn't think it was the right one. But I found it, so that's good. And I'll show you, show you my haul a little bit later. So it's the next day, ignore the messy background. But I thought I would quickly share with you what I ended up getting. So, like I mentioned in the previous clip, I did not remember to get that sweater quantity I was hoping. I didn't even think of it when I was looking at the yarn. I, I, I'm I, just a horrible shopper. I can't. Even if I write things down, I just never remember. I don't know. But all in all, successful. I got quite a good bit of yarn. It was one of the rough sales, so, you know, you gotta stock up. You have to have a stash. I'm a firm believer in having a stash now, since the great running out of yarn disaster of previous year but um what i ended up getting i ended up getting two things of the stuffing um just the polyfill i got two of these these 12 ounce bags i found that um i don't know about other stores but i know the stores i did look at um Hobby Lobby had the best price on the stuffing i think three dollars for 12 ounces so that ended up being the best deal I could get. So I got two of those. And then the yarn I got. So I did have some projects in mind. Um, a big project I wanna do that I'm kind of excited about. Just It's not a really big project. It won't take long to do once I do it. I really wanna make myself like a warm pair of slippers because my feet are freezing. <laughs> Even with all my handmade socks and everything. I just want a nice pair of slippers. So I got, ended up getting, I usually don't get this weight of yarn, this bulky weight. I got four skeins of this because I'm not sure about the yardage with such a bigger, a bulky yarn. I probably, I won't, I definitely won't use all of this, but my plan for it is to have it knit, um, um, how to say, like I'm going to start at the toe and then I'm going to also end at a toe and like tuck it in so it's double thick. That's my goal. Of the plan so far. So um, this white is Baby Bee Sweet Delight Chunky in the angel color and this is just 100 grams, 109 yards per 100 grams, 80-20 acrylic polyamide. So it's got that nylon content so it should hold up really well. And then so this will be the inside and then this is Baby Bee My Sweet Love which is 92% acrylic, 8% polyamide. 100 grams to 94 yards. So this is a bit chunkier than the white, but it doesn't look that chunky. It doesn't look that different, but going off of yardage, it must be. So, I don't know. What color is this? This is Bella Blossom. Super pretty. It's like these pinks and grays. It feels really nice. Um, this feels a little bit rougher than this one, but this so this will be the inside. But I got this yarn for that project, some slippers. I think it'll be fun to figure that out. I was wanted to make like a pair of pair of house socks like type thing. So that'll be fun to finally do. And then I did get two skeins of I love this yarn in these different brown colorways. This one's toasted almond and this one's just brown. Um, I figure for the amigurumi plushies 
um, I'll need quite a bit of brown just for like details and things. So I just got these two different shades just to have in stash. And then I actually found, I think this is the right color. Let me see. I think this is the closest I'm going to get. It's probably a different dye lot. That, well, it's definitely a different dye lot because it's been so long. I don't even remember when I got this skein. But I'm pretty sure this, this must be the color. Like you can see the darker portions in there. This must be the color. I don't even know how much more I'm going to need of this. I just got the one skein. But I did her body um, and her head. So I don't even know how much I'll need what's left to do which is a lot of little pieces so one skein should cover it it's yarn be soft and sleek low pill fiber in the black gray multi super pretty and i'm really happy that i got this skein because it'll make it just easier to work on sc instead of figuring out different like what contrasts to use for the other pieces i have to make so then i got because i am capable i don't get the Abby Lovey doesn't have a great array of fingering weight yarns that are good for socks um i've talked about this before so i end up just i have a lot more dk weight yarn for socks than fingering weight yarn for socks so i did get another skein of dk weight yarn for socks because it's just so pretty this will be so pretty it's um the baby b sweet delight prints in the kitty colorway and it's just a blend of 60% acrylic, 40% polyamide, which is great for socks. It's got that nylon content. I've been really loving my DK weight socks. They, f they feel really nice on my feet. So that'll be a pair. And then I did, I never got this yarn before. Um, this is actually a velvet yarn, velvety smooth sparkle in the blush color. So I debated picking this up. Big reason I wanted to get this is that I think it would be fun to make scrunchies out of this. Um, just take like a hair thing and then crochet this around it to make like a really soft scrunchie. I like the idea of trying that. I, did, I was hesitant to get this because it's such a big skein for just such a little project. Like this is 100 grams and it's 161 yards per 100 grams. It's 94% polyester, 6% metallic polyester. Um, but I really wanted to try the scrunchies and I figure like my little sister really likes soft fabrics like this so I can make her a hat with the leftovers so I'll just make like maybe one or two maybe three scrunchies and then I'll make a hat out of the leftovers and it'll be really cute so I am I've never worked with I tend to stay away from novelty yarns like this um just because the few times I've worked with, I've worked with a lot of low quality novelty yarns in the early crafting days, you know, when you, you start out crafting and people tend to just give you the things that are laying around their house, <laughs> you know, like the, the, the novel, just those annoying novelty yarns. I, I, so I worked with those and I kind of don't like novelty yarns because of that now, if that makes sense. But I did decide to get this, um, and it, it's a nicer quality than the ones I've been <laughs> I've worked with in the past, so got that. Um, I really want to do that. A lot of quick projects. Like I could easily knit those slippers, easily make those scrunchies and hat really quickly. It's just a, a decision of what to do first. You have to easily finish Nessie. Yeah, a lot of decisions. But and the last two skeins I got are these. Um, what are they called? Yarn Bee Warm and Cozy in the Blush and the Silver Tide. So these are a blend of 78% acrylic, 13% nylon, 9% polyester, 99 grams per 317 yards. I actually have two more shades of this in my stash. Oh, I just ripped the tag. Hmm. Um, I mentioned I kind of want to make a shawl. I figure those two skeins have been sitting in my stash. I got these two to kind of make this really pretty colorful shawl. Um, it's a very interesting texture, this yarn. It's kind of like this spun... I, I don't know how to describe it, but it feels really nice. Um, I think it'll be interesting to see how it knits up and what stitch patterns will, will show very well with the yarn. So I really want to try that. Um, the other two colors I got, I have in my stash already are yellow and blue. So it'll be really pretty pretty fun color playing going on there. 
and that concludes this little come along shop yarn haul type video whatever you want to call it <laughs> really excited to start these projects if you want to see the outcome of these projects be sure to subscribe and um, watch my weekly podcast or my trying to be weekly podcast i podcast every now and then <laughs> when i get the time um so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video happy crafting